Hello and welcome to our Lenten series, Prayer of the Week. We thought it would be nice to share with you some of the forms of prayer that have been particularly meaningful to each one of us in our faith journeys. My name is Jenny Kaufman. I'm one of the pastors at First United Methodist Church, and I'm grateful that you have taken the time to explore prayer and what it might mean to you in your faith journey. So what will happen is each week, each Wednesday, we will post a brief video talking about a form of prayer that, as I said, has been meaningful to, to one of us. Today, I will be talking about Lexio Divina. Lexio Divina, which is Latin for divine reading, is a form of being with scripture, not so much studying it to intellectually understand it, but instead to relate to scripture as the living word and inviting God to speak to you, speak to us, to be with us, guide us and teach us through our response to a piece of scripture. The history of Lexio Divina, um, the history of the reflection of scripture, really an interpretation goes back to Origen, who lived in the third century. Um, as far as Lexio Divina as a monastic pra practice, most people look back to um, Benedict of Nursia, who was one of the first um, people who formed a monastery. Um, and then it was Guigo II who lived in the 12th century who really formalized the four steps of Lexio Divina. There are traditionally four steps. So we read the same piece of scripture a total of four times. Those four steps, staying with the Latin, and I apologize, I never studied Latin, so may not be pronouncing this correctly. Um, Lexio, which means reading. Meditatio, which means to meditate, oratio, which is to pray, and then contemplatio, which is to contemplate. So those are the four stages in, in Latin. There are different ways of exercising that, of course. Um, when I each week lead a guided Lexio Divina, which is available on our website, and somewhat follow the traditional method in that I read a piece of scripture a total of four times. Each of those readings is then followed by two minutes of silence. And during that silence, I invite you to focus on either a different aspect of the reading or your response to that reading, what it might mean in your life, or what God may be speaking to you, inviting you to think about through your response to that reading. So, um, for example, uh, the first time as I read it, I invite you simply to listen and notice if there's a word or a phrase that seems to, to call for your attention. It's very interesting, even the same piece of scripture may be well known to you, but each time that we read it, we may respond to it in a different way. And so after the first reading, simply sit with that word or phrase that just seemed particularly relevant to you um, when you heard the scripture. During the second reading, I invite you to consider how that word or phrase is relevant in your life right now. Um, Yes, how, how is it speaking to you? How does it feel connected to either something that you are going through, something you've been thinking about, but how does it seem, as I said, particularly relevant? Then I read the scripture a third time. And in this third time, I invite you to consider what God may be asking of you through this word or phrase. Is God encouraging you to do something or to change your way of being in some way. But how is God speaking to you through this word or phrase, and how might that be um, exercised, embodied in your life right now? And then after the fourth reading, I invite you simply to, to sit in the presence of God or to pray to God. What I like about Lexio Divina is there's some back and forth. To me, prayer is a conversation, and conversation to me is most meaningful when it is two-sided. And so by those moments of silence, there is an opportunity for God to speak to you and for you to speak to God. So that in 
a snapshot is what Lexio Divina is all about. I invite you to go to our website and, and try it out. It will take 10, 15 minutes at the most, um, and then you will experience what it is like. If you would like written instructions, please give me a call um, at the church office or send me an email. And may you deepen your relationship with God and your experience of prayer through this Lenten season. God bless and thank you.